Hey there radio friends, welcome back to another uh, radio video. Today I'm going to answer a pretty common question and I know I've covered this uh, in the past but uh, I've kind of refined my method a little bit and I thought I'd share it with you. And the question of how to improve uh, the performance of your AM uh, portable radio um, on um, on the AM band which is notoriously difficult to uh, get a signal indoors. I have here on my desk the uh, the venerable uh, Panasonic 2200 and um, which is a terrific radio uh, you know one of the best but uh, when uh, you're using it inside now right now it's kind of winter out it's uh, very uncomfortable to go outside with this radio and so I have to use it inside and the signal is uh, terrible inside I have a brick house concrete foundation just an awful signal uh, so it really doesn't do anything close to what it's capable of doing so I have to get a signal inside um, but it doesn't have a, a connection and most portable radios of this sort don't have uh, uh, an antenna connection uh, that's purely external there's only a couple of radios that I own that uh, that feature that where you can f uh, switch off the internal antenna and just use something from the outside so I'm going to show you how to connect an exterior antenna uh, very effectively to a portable radio uh, one like this or like a small clock radio or something it does require a, a, a good exterior antenna and uh, I describe my antenna setup in other videos and I won't bore you with the details but I have a a, a decent setup outside uh, properly set up and going through coax which comes inside the house so uh, now I want to get from the coax to the radio so here's how I do it so here's what I came up with this is um, just a simple coil of, uh, of wire just ordinary insulated wire this is you know some junk wire that I found in my box looped it around um, I think it's seven seven turns and um, this is just basically a thin piece of coax this is actually audio cable um, but it seems to work just fine um, and so one end of the loop is soldered to the you can't see it one end of the loop is soldered to the inner conductor and the uh, other end of the loop is soldered to the braid so this is kind of a closed loop for a piece of coax uh, and this is connected to my long wire uh, it's actually a random wire antenna which is out in the backyard uh, and it's fed into the house by way of a 9 to 1 transformer and a um, piece of coax so this is really the end of the, the radio antenna um, so um, we have here the 2200 and what I'm going to do for you this morning is just turn it on and do a band scan so it is about quarter to eight here on, um, on a Thursday morning it's actually Thanksgiving happy Thanksgiving everybody and I'm just going to do a simple band scan with no antenna attached going slow going from about 600 to 1100 nothing coming in now this is a, a really really nice radio and it's got great reception so uh, here in my basement it really requires an antenna so I'm going to take my loop just stick it up there on the top and let's try the same band scan. It may have happened while you were sleeping or out last night, ready to risk it all. Oh, before the hour, morning air on Relevant Radio and the Relevant Radio app. We are 12 minutes. We're going to employ thing, ideas of thinking out of the box, like uh, the no quarter. Let's see, I'm picking up all kinds of stuff here. 800-525-4989. Don't wait. 100% guaranteed or your money. To his credit, in this particular case, you get the idea, right? No antenna, 
Back to the forecast Q and A. Has suggested they may allow the rushers to us from like pressures of the game, but more so having to deal. So that's uh, that's it. Very simple way to do it, um, and uh, very effective. And it's uh, really the uh, I found a very a great way to import um, AM medium wave signals into my house for very clear, very lovely reception. So for now, this is Tom. Thanks for watching.